Okay, daring seeker, allow me to divine your signs of angles and signs of angels. Chat now, or forever hold your peace. You're listening to The Hitman, H-I-T-M-A-N, Hakeem in the morning, afternoon, and night. This is Daring Seeker. Allow me to divine your signs of angels and signs of angels. Chat now. I am going to offer some divination to you. It's 8 p.m., Eastern Daylight Time. It is May 7th, 2023. Yes, there are there is such thing as the signs of angles. You can look them up. There's charts of it. And the signs of angels are numerology. The angels speak to us in numbers. So come on up. Chat. Let's get your numbers going. In the meantime... I'm not waiting for you. There are numbers everywhere. So earlier I finished uh, doing a chat. It was called Occultonometry, or Occultonometrics, one of those two. And it featured numerology, tarot, and Viking wounds. And some quite spectacular coherence uh, was experienced there as I did that reading. And so then I came to get my car fueled up to go do some driving. And welcome, Mr. Two Extra. Welcome, Mojo. You're welcome to come on up and let's talk about your numbers. And I came to fuel up my vehicle. Welcome, Angelina Frost. You're welcome to chat. come and chat about your angel numbers. And maybe even do a little math, some signs of angles. We can play around with geometry and trigonometry and and fun things like that. But this is really more about the uh, angel numbers. And so I came to fuel my car up and when I sat and got prepared to go live, it was I looked up and this is what happens all the time. And I just actually I just saw another repeating number. So I'm going to have to look put that one to my list here as I go through this divination. And I looked up and it was 7.33. So, of course, true to the instructions with the numeral 11, which says that when you see repetition, especially when you see the number 11, to uh, look out for other signs. And so I did. I did look around for other signs. And when I looked up at the sign for the gas on Wawa, there are several repeating numbers. Welcome, Doobie. Welcome. And... The repeating numbers on the sign, it's actually, the, the gas price here is $3.30. 3 dollars 30 and there's a 9 tenth, right? So there's a 33, right? First you got 3, you got 30, right? You got 33, and you have 330. You have a 9 and a 10, 910. Underneath it for the diesel fuel in green, because above it's red in the, the regular gas price. I, I'm assuming that for the uh, 87 octane. And below it, the diesel is three ninety nine. So again, we have another three there, stacked on top of each other. So you have a three three. Um, so the thirty three is present throughout here. So it's definitely one to look at. And it's three ninety nine. So we have ninety nine. Another couple of repeating numbers. And then the nine tenth is repeated uh, twice. So there's two repetitions there uh, with the nine ten. You got lots of threes. You got a, a three on top of a three because the way the sign is organized in a square with two rectangles that have the prices in them. 33, you got threes, and so so many things can be extrapolated that in order to get a reading. Um, first, you just look at simply the three, right? Start there. Then you can look at 33 and 330. And then you look at 9 and 10 and 910. And you get the 399. And out of all of those things, you'll get other numbers. Welcome, John Bush. Everyone that's here, you're welcome to come up and chat, and let's talk about your numbers. Allow, if you're a daring seeker, allow me to divine your signs of angels. And, so, and as I'm looking at the the signs, ha, <laughs> the signs, the signs for the gasoline here, there are other things that come up, especially because in numerology, 
we use the commutative law of addition, and you can, which means you just simply can add the numbers that you see in any order, and you'll always get the same sum. So, for example, we just look at uh, if we took a string of numbers, the three, thirty, and nine tenths. Right? For example, you add a three plus a three, you get a six. Plus nine is fifteen. Plus ten is twenty-five. Right, and then you have two and five is seven to reduce it to a single digit. So there's a seven there, right? Then also. Uh, you could look at the other one, three, nine, 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 ten. There's three nines in a row there, right? You had three plus nine is twelve, plus nine is twenty-one, plus nine is thirty, plus ten is forty, and four and zero is a four. So you see, we have several ways we can continue to get more and more numbers from there. But again, when I started this, I looked up as I sat here, and it was seven thirty-three, and so that thirty-three said, "Hey, pay attention. Look around. The angels are pay- are communicating with you." And so, then I could look at the number 7. And you can also look at the numbers separate on each side of a period, as in the gas prices, or each side of a colon separately, or as a single string of numbers without that separation. So there's so many num- numbers that come out when you look around you. So look around you now. What numbers do you see? And it doesn't have to be represented in the numbers, which are the representation, or the numerals, that is, which are the representation of numbers in writing, Because a number is actually the quantity of something. So you might look up and see a quantity, an actual number of things. You might see two blue cups, two pairs of black pants, so on and so forth, right? And, or three. Or maybe there's, you know, maybe you're looking at a fork and it has four prongs or three prongs. So looking around you, but you want to look for repetition if you see any. And the, and so I saw the 733 and I thought, okay, look around, did that. Saw all those different repeating numbers. And the price, especially angel numbers, right? Especially repetition. Oh, and here I am forgetting to write down the 99. The 99 should be in here as well. Because that's on the other side of the colon. So then you have all these different numbers you can put together. Then as I started here at 8 p.m., seven minutes ago, Eastern Standard Time, I looked at my air conditioning settings. And there's a dual setting so that a passenger could change the temperature on their own side. And it's not hit listed in dual, it's in sync, and so that means that they're both reading the same thing, so there are two numbers on the opposite side of the the, the LCD screen, let's say 75. There's 275, so that's another number to look at. Remember, repetition. And so these are the ways that we can look at them. So I'm going to start here with this because this tells a story and if you're listening it's also telling a story to you their encouragement to you because as we read the angel numbers they are they're encouraging and uplifting messages that can be generalized to almost anyone so you don't have to see those numbers all around you you can simply listen to the numbers that I'm reading And they may have relevance to you. And as we see some more repeating numbers here, of course, there's the 808. It's 808 p.m. here in the east coast of the USA. I could choose to write that as well. See, I could go on and on and continue to find as many repeating numbers as possible and go on a string where I just simply read for inspiration. That's the word I was looking for. Inspiration. And so this is the way that I look at these different messages. I look at them for inspiration. And inspiration are what the so-called hot numbers are in numerology. And there's a book I got from Jeannie's used book in in Portsmouth, Virginia. And she talks about the, the hot numbers in this book. Her book here says, hot numbers, use numerology to discover what makes your lover, boss, friends, family, and you really tick by Jean Simpson, Jean Simpson, Crown Publishers, New York. Now, I like this book. I messed up the dust jacket a little bit, but it was published in 1986. And it's a great book. It's a fantastic book. It's been well-preserved in whoever turned it over to uh, Jeannie's used books in in Portsmouth. So I want to give a little background about these hot numbers. I'm going to read the introduction here to this book before I go into some of the, the numbers here, or at least part of the introduction. Let's see where... Because I know somewhere in here I read about what the hot numbers were to her. And when I, I did read that, it, I said, hey, that's how I 
do numerology when I'm using the book uh, Numerology for Beginners, which I've been using for two decades at least by by Jerry Bauer. Jerry spelled G E R I E and Bauer B A U E R. So neither one of those of the spellings are phonetic as you would think if you hear that. And uh, because what, so let's just I'll read this introduction first, and then we can I'll, I'll talk about what I mean by. I've, I know I've realized that I've been using hot numbers all the time. So, introduction to hot numbers. Use numerology to discover what makes your lover, boss, friends, family, and you really tick. You're listening to Hitman, H I T M A N, Hakeem in the morning, afternoon, and night, here on Spreaker, Social Podcasting, and Wisdom, Social Audio Inc. The show presented on. Spreaker is called Wisdom Top Mentor Interviews, and it's not just for the so-called top mentors who have the yellow star with the check mark. No, no, no. You're all top mentors. If anybody listens to you here and learns anything from you, you're a top mentor. I don't care what wisdom says about it. You're a top mentor. Many people here who don't have any check boxes, whether they're purple or gold, uh, I've learned from by listening to them. So you're all my mentors. Just like how uh, Apocalypse from the X-Men thinks that you are all my children. But no, you are all my mentors. And so, in this Wisdom Top Mentor interview show on Spreaker, I'm here on Wisdom also, uh, where there are many top mentors. And so, the introduction, Hot Numbers, says, it reads... I was 26 years old when I met my first numerologist, Helena, held court in the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills. I've been there. It's nice. She sat at the front of the huge ballroom giving readings to one person at a time while her other clients waited patiently in the back. I didn't stay as a guest. I just went in to check out how much it was, and I think it was over $200 a night. And at the time, I said no. But it is a nice... I rode by there all the time. It's on Wilshire. Um, that's why it's called the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. She said, I didn't know what to expect, but I could hardly wait for my turn. Finally, I sat in the chair facing her. She began by asking for my full name, exactly as it appears on my birth certificate and my birthday. With only that information, a pencil, and a piece of paper, she quickly figured out my numbers. Helena said many things that amazed me during that first encounter. I was struck by the accuracy of her comments and touched by the experience, which left me feeling very special. I can relate to this, guys, very much. I can very much relate to this, because when I first read Numerology for Beginners by Jerry Bowers, I had a lot of those moments. Which left me feeling very special. She told me, You have a gift for teaching, and your mission in life is to inspire others. For a long time after reading, after that first reading, I felt wonderful. Like most of us, I love hearing about myself, especially when the message is uplifting. Every four months, like clockwork, I was back in that chair opposite her. The numbers were always right. My self-confidence grew each time she emphasized my strengths. In Curves, I realized that the numbers would become a very important part of my life. I wanted to know how Helena knew what she knew, and I begged her to tell me. After dozens of re readings, she sent me a birthday card with the promise that she would teach me the basics of numerology. I was ecstatic. Months of intense study prepared me for the fascinating part. For the fascinating part. Practicing. For the, for the next several years, I asked anyone and everyone for their name and birthday. I was so intrigued by the numbers that I seriously began to consider numerology as my life's work. I was determined to simplify the numbers so I could share my new knowledge with others. A new door opened in my professional career as a numerologist when I did numbers for talented, for a talented palmist named Spencer. Let's, see, let's read that again. She said that she re writes, A new door opened in my professional career as a numerologist when I did numbers for a talented palmist named Spencer. You know, he said, you're very good. Have you ever thought of doing numbers for people at parties? I was flattered when he invited me, invited me to do numbers for some of his clients the following weekend. The very first reading I did was for a businessman, Michael. 
Gosh, I said. You're in the middle of a major change. You're about to launch an extremely profitable business venture. He chuckled. I know. Today I gave my notice at the studio. I'm opening up my own personal management firm on Monday. I've rented the most expensive office I can find on the Sunset Strip, and I don't know how I'm going to pay for it. Don't worry, I said. You're going to be a huge success. His numbers had shown me that he was going to be financially secure within six months. He's still my client, and his business has skyrocketed. I read numbers, or I read numbers for five. Or yeah, here we go. I read numbers for five hours that night, and wasn't even tired when I got home. The feedback from the clients was fantastic. They were amazed that there's a uh, an indication that she may be a, a vampire. Um, they were amazed at the accuracy of my readings. So was I. From that night on, I was in business. As entertainment agent, an entertainment agent contacted me, began booking more parties, and scheduled me for lectures on cruise ships. Along the way, I attracted my own clientele. After the star named me one of the nation's ten most accurate psychics, the phone never stopped ringing. I appeared on AM Los Angeles and other top local radio and television shows. The response was incredible. Talk show hosts and audiences were amazed at how quickly I figured out their numbers and could tell them something positive about themselves and their futures. With each reading, the numbers gradually took on new meanings for me. I have developed my own unique system called Hot Numbers. I emphasize only the positive or the hot side of the numbers. Given hope and encouragement, people can use their numbers to take more control over their own lives. So it was that last sentence. I could have just freaking looked at that. Um, but that, that's it. That's what the hot numbers, that's what I've been doing. And let me read again. She says, I emphasize only the positive or the hot side of the numbers. Given hope and encouragement, people can use their numbers to make to take more control over their own lives. So that's what I, I've been doing, simply because I find it unwieldy to deal with all of the other um, the the so-called negative aspects of the numbers. It's just, you know, I don't I, I have a difficult time getting into all that and then trying to to um, to interpret all that stuff. It's just it's a little bit much. Let's see how many miles do I want me to do this? Twenty-eight miles. No, nope, not doing that. Let's see, uh, but we'll see. Oh, there's a double number there. Four six six. Huh. You know what? Where is it? It's going from Gorham Court, Yorktown, to Norview Ave in Norfolk. No, I'm not driving in Yorktown. Uh, that's no, that's too far. That would be me driving an hour, maybe, maybe 45 minutes, and then yeah, I gotta pick my pick my um, pick my battles in that driving there. So yeah, I'm not doing that one. Yeah, definitely not gonna do that one. Welcome, eternity. Hello. How goes it? I am driving home. I got I hit a big old rock on the highway, bro, and I had to call roadside assistance to put my spare tire on. <laughs> you hit a rock on the highway. Yep, a big old rock. It was a big old rock. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad that you're calling because that means that you're okay. I am okay. I thought you're. I was, you're keeping me company while I drive home. All right. Well, um, you're a good, good reader, by the way. I was enjoying this story. Well, good. Um, so, uh, you see any? Are there any numbers around you that you would like to share, or that yes. you've seen? Yes, I wanted to. It changed now, but I wanted you to look up eight one eight. I've seen it before. I forgot what it means. Eight one eight Beachwood Avenue. <laughs> All right. So, we've got uh, Eternity here. Hi, everyone. And uh, to all my listeners on Spreaker, um, Eternity's here. She's one of our Wisdom Top Mentors that I was talking so much about. And she happens to have one of, the, one of those gold stars. And uh, um, So, 818, let's take a look at 818. Of course it changed because, uh, you know, you're, that's, how, that's time. And uh, if it didn't change, I'd be concerned. So... <laughs> Now, you know what's really interesting about that? This is going to this is going to be awesome. Everybody who's listening. Hey, listen, people, 
I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna. If you are listening, Doobie, Angelina Frost, Andrew Johnson, John Bush, Modro, Mister Two Extra, you better send a message to people right now. So other wisdomers or other links to people right freaking now, because you're you're gonna be blown away by what eight one eight is and who we're talking to right now. Okay. Because <laughs> because this ain't no do it do it. I'm giving you guys. You gotta take a moment. I'm not playing. Do it, do it, do it. This yeah, is. This this is incredible, okay. So, uh, you know, I'm giving you guys a couple seconds to uh, do that. Hey, Tony, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stall on purpose here. Like, I really mean it, guys. Okay. Like, doobie, like people, you, you should if you know other wisdomers, uh, you, I'm telling you right now that what you're about to hear is incredible. Just just it's simple, but it's actually really incredible right now that she even asked for that that number because and I looked because right now it's eight twenty right so she, she she calls in I say look around what a number she saw eight eighteen eight one eight right and this is just so fascinating this is just happens all the time and this is proof positive that we are living in a vibrational universe that has that that communicates with us through numbers through numerology through mathematics and so call them get them on here because this is pretty i'm pretty stoked about this but yeah so i've been using the hot numbers so now i'm going to get into this right here eternity listen to this here's what here's what eight here's the heading for 818 everybody are you ready for this if you're in the room right now and if you're ready for this please please show some love you show show some of them emojis because this is something that you've definitely got to to hear this is it right here, y'all. All right, ready? I don't think they're ready. ready, ready. I, I'm not. I don't think. I know you're ready. I don't think they're ready. I don't think they're ready. We'll yeah. Listen. All right. Maybe, maybe they'll listen to you, Eternity. Let's request some of those um, uh, those emojis. Come on, guys. Let's participate here. Are you ready? Yes. There you go. All right, people. Here is eight one eight. Remember, we're speaking to Eternity here. Okay, here's 818. Are you ready? 818 is infinity. <laughs> Forever, ever. Forever, ever. So we have eternity who gives me the number that is regarded as infinity. I love it. I'm telling you, that's, you know, they may not think that that's a big deal, but this that's that's huge. So let's take it up. 818, infinity. Life is a never-ending loop. One cycle in your life is ending. And that's so true. For, guys, you'd have no idea, folks. One cycle in your life is ending, but another is beginning. It can feel catastrophic, but it's the natural way of things. Be on the lookout for other numbers coming your way. Your communication is strong right now with your angels. The force is strong within you. <laughs> so, just as I'm looking at this too, we want to talk about angel numbers. It just so happens to be on page 233. So, 233. Again, that 33 is popping up all the time. When I, was, when I, when I first looked up, it was 733. Um, then when I decided I was going to turn this into a talk, and I, and I came up with the, the name, I said, Daring Seeker. Allow me to divine your signs of angels and signs of angels. Chat now. It was I looked up. It was seven forty-four, and so there's so much to go into here. But again, infinity is what eight one eight is, and it says life is a never-ending loop. One cycle in your life is ending, but another is beginning. It can feel catastrophic, but it's the natural way of things. Be on the lookout for other numbers coming your way. Your communication is strong right now with your angels. So. So, Eternity, please tell everybody why um, this is so true and so very accurate that one cycle in your life is ending, but another is beginning at this at this moment in your life, this part in your life. So, I am about to relocate in the next couple of coming up weeks out of state, and I'm going to go be with my soulmate and be a mom and a wife. <laughs> so, literally, the chapter of my life is closing majorly and opening a new one that I'm very excited about. So I'm talking about folks. So I'm talking about the and uh, and that's and that's what this angel numbers book 
makes use of. I don't, you know, I don't know how much she, the the author Mystic Mahala of a, the Angel Numbers uh, book, knew about um, about the author uh, Gene Simpson of Hot Numbers, which was published in '86. Um, but she may have come across it because her because this Angel Numbers book is all hot numbers, and this book was published in 2021 by Simon and Schuster, and so and so uh, so we we know remember the Angel Numbers are the positive side or the hot side of the numbers rather than just like in astrology how they have you know positive traits of the signs and negative traits. Um, if I were to do astrology, I would also do that. Most of the the um, the newspaper column and like magazine astrology is basically hot astrology because they mostly just talk about the um well actually i shouldn't say that i actually shouldn't say i don't know that for sure because i've seen some of them that say well beware of this and that so i'm actually not sure um hello howling eagle uh and so the uh but i do know that some of them some of the short columns they simply use the the positive side of the numbers so Yay, eternity, I'm so glad that you are um, making this positive transition in your life. You are actually ending one cycle in your life and beginning another one by, by moving to another part of the country, the yeah. other side of the country. The other side. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It can feel yeah, catastrophic. catastrophic. Yeah. yeah, it definitely has. I've been through a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah. It's also like I'm in it every day, but like, I need to balance myself and stay grounded. Yeah, that's the that's the nature of this. That's the nature of this beast here, is um, these things changing, the feeling catastrophic, and uh, it's pretty amazing. I um, I woke up today um, feeling a little sad, um, but then I went to go visit. I went to go visit my sister, and she cheered me up very much, and she helped me out a lot with something too. Um, I don't know what it was, but I was just, I got up and I was like, I thought to myself, I, I felt really bad. I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'll address that at another time because it's a talk on itself. That's, that's actually good. Uh, so how, see, see, here's what I do. I transmute. See the, 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 the experience that I, that I have, I interpreted it as being sad. It doesn't, because it doesn't make me feel good. Um, the, the situation, uh, but but the talk that I'm going to do about it is is awesome, because it just it's just very revealing. It's just um, it's just one of those things that I can transmute into something better. So I'll save that for another time. But the point is, I already transmuted it. Is that I was just compelled. I thought, well, this thing is not this thing. I'm feeling sad. I'm allowing myself to feel sad because of this experience. And all I could think about was I was like, you know what? I need to go see my sister. And so I woke up in Norfolk and I drove, it was something like maybe 20 something, 30 miles to my sister's house and she was there and she, I knocked on the door my nephew Peyton answered and the dogs barked and uh, my sister was sitting at the computer doing something and I, and I got my mail and I got this, this huge, this bill from, uh, from the, from, um, what is it? The Elizabeth River Tunnels. Um, Portsmouth, Virginia, and it's the tolls because I've been driving Uber, right? So, and I didn't know until yesterday when I was in. Uh, see, I don't, I don't see. I'm, I live in a, my own little bubble, but I didn't know until yesterday when this guy told me one of my riders. See, and this is also how repetition works because one of the riders I picked up when we were going through the toll, I was paying the tolls with cash and throwing change in there and stuff like that, and he was like, "You should get Easy Pass." And his name was Cornelius, and I said, "Easy Pass." Like, what the heck? Oh my what? God, that's my friend from college's name. <laughs> well, like, but he said, "Yeah, definitely get Easy Pass." Yeah, so well, I, well, I did. That's what my my sister. Um, I went and I went over, and I was showing off my um, my Department of Defense clearance to be able to drive on the bases to pick people up for Uber yeah. and all that stuff like that. And, um, and 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 then I looked at my mail, and it was this thing, and it was like, what? And I looked at the, the, the total, and it's $209 for all these yeah, tolls. You've been a lot. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, okay. I was like, I'm, I guess I'm just going to pay that now. She said, you should get, you need to get Easy Pass. And I was like, <laughs> I said, you know, and I thought, I was like, man, that's the second time I'm hearing that in two days. The guy told me about it yesterday. And then 
Um, because the tolls in, in, in Richmond, where I was, are much more obvious because they're still like the old school where you have to, um, uh, you, you stop and throw change or get cash, right? And there's an easy pass, um, like lane, but here in Virginia, in the Hampton Roads area, in this area, there's no, um, it's just easy pass and they just take pictures of your license plate and then they send you this bill, apparently. And so it's not really obvious because I'm like, where where am I getting tolls? Like, this says tolls. It's like, I don't ever see them. And now I'm seeing it. And it's, um, and it's in this, uh, so, so that's what it is. Um, man, look at this. So, March 15th, there's two. Yeah, Boston, they took them all away, and I added, like, the new one. March 15th. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. Oh, the date, oh, you're looking at the date of the, the date of the thing. Yeah, yeah, so, there's, anyway, there's so many of them here, and, uh, Oh, wait a minute. Is this two? Is this two separate? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I was about to say. Guys, I can't drive over 60 miles per hour, so everyone's driving around me. <laughs> I have my first thing on. So, I hope they're tired. Well, I have two separate ones that... Yeah, so the total is 209... Um, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, huh? I've been driving a lot, I'll be. Uh, and then 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So for a total of 32 different tolls that I gotta pay, downtown, downtown, midtown, uh, yep, downtown and midtown. Tunnel W West East West. You can, yeah. So, been driving a lot. Um, but yeah, so I've been driving a whole lot. And um, yeah, Mister Two Extra. He says I hate them. <laughs> so, but you know, welcome to the room. Daily shift, Marcella. Uh, ESU 44 uh, so yeah but you know it is what it is I was like I, I, I've i been making a lot of money not only at the, the door at Central but also um, from driving Uber and I've been getting massive amounts of tips like I, I got a 15 I got a $15 tip um, from some kid that I own that his, his his total bill that he paid to me that I got paid was $25 for driving him 10 miles to the train station so he gave me fifteen dollars on top of that, and I know that his his charge was was higher because if I'm getting twenty five, you know his was higher than that. So on, on on top of like let's say the thirty or forty he paid for the trip, I get twenty five, and then he sent me another fifteen. Another guy gave me twenty five dollars in cash. Another person gave me fifty dollars in cash. Another guy gave me twenty five dollars in cash. And then like almost every single trip, it's like tip 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 tip. And I've been experimenting with the music that I play. And I noticed that nobody tips when I play Slipknot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But everybody tips when I play Creed. Interesting. They like Creed, but Slipknot. It's just, and it's just the sound of it in the background. It's 833, by the way, everybody. 833. It's another double number there, as well as 11 in the room. So, which is, the, the 11 is the indicator. And it's also 33 minutes and 42, 44 seconds on the clock here on my Spreaker. So... Um, lots of uh, doubles to look at. Um, we got 11, we got 33, um, 33 a couple times across the board here. So that is what we we got down. I got. I'm gonna write down this 833. I've been I've been writing this down in my. I have a notepad here because um, my my presentation here would be if uh, no one uh, came. If nobody came to talk to me, then I would um, just simply go over all these numbers and read them for inspiration or read them as, as uh, hot numbers so that anyone listening would be inspired by hearing the numbers. So I'm always prepared. And so, um, but yeah, I, so I went to my sister's house and, and that, that little coincidence happened because I, I never hear anybody talking about Easy Pass ever. But then again, I've never been to Richmond and I've never gone through those tolls in Virginia where you have to throw the money into the basket or get change. Uh, by giving the the attendant a dollar, a dollar bill, or whatever you have to get change from them, so 
he mentioned Easy Pass, and then I went to my sister's house, and I got this bill, and she said Easy Pass, and then so, so she drove with me to the Navy Exchange, and we went on there and paid thirty five dollars, and I got the thing, and I registered it, and then uh, hooked it up to my car, and I've got the uh, I got the Easy Pass Flex, so I could switch it from H O high occupancy vehicle off, H O V off, or H O V on. So, um, yeah, so. Uh, Lots of lots of cool coincidences. See, that's also angels' numbers speak to us in repetition of all kinds of things, and that was a repetition to me that if that guy didn't say it before, I may not have listened to my sister said it. And also, um, I got to write down the number one seventy seven because I'm, I'm seeing one seventy seven just popped up somewhere on my dashboard. Um, and so, if I hadn't uh, done that, or if, if that guy hadn't said anything about it, and my sister didn't mention I may not have done it but then she also said you want to go with me to the Navy Exchange to get it. I guess that's where she gets hers from plus it's closer and I, I didn't know any locations where well, I was willing to go do it myself but she had left to go bring some lunch money to her daughter and uh, she said um, do you want to go with me and so I yeah I, I went and got it and I'm glad that I did because uh, even though I'm, I'm earning a good deal of money I would rather you know um, you know not have to spend all of it on tolls these guys, these are freaking trolls over here. Trolls, I tell you. Trolls. How old are your nieces and nephews? Uh, one more time. How old is your niece and nephew? She is, so my niece is, uh, she's 16. And my nephew is, um, I think he's 12 or 13 now. Something like that. So they're youngins. I was like, I forgot what movie reference I made the other day, and my 16 year old nephew didn't know what the heck I was talking about. I was like, I forgot how old you are. I forget it. <laughs> well, a lot of these folks don't know who Creed is. I mean, I haven't like thought about Creed in a very long time. Not in a while. Well, you know, I just, um, I'm able to replicate the singer from Creed's voice very well. Um, and I just really like the messages in their songs. Like, I've always been a fan of just the way they sound, man. I mean, this, you know, he's, he, he just, um, there's, so one of the songs called Torn, there's a, like, they have these cool breakdowns, right? This one breakdown of the song goes, If peace is dead in my soul, I have great reason for my intentions. And just the way it flows. Yes, you I'm the one point. who, the only one who will carry on this far. I just love the way it's, I just, I love it. You sound really good. But thank Brother, you, you, thank you, you very really much. Good. Thank you. you. Also look when you get chance. But he, but the, I, that's what I love about it. It's like so smooth, his, the, his voice, the way he sings. And then the messages are just so cool. And they're also, the melodies are really great. And they just, and plus the, and then the music is heavy enough. Like, for me to not, uh, like, I don't know. I just, I love heavy music, but I also love um, melodic voices. And he's got the one of the best combinations of that that I've heard. Besides uh, Soundgarden and uh, with Chris Cornell as a singer and Pearl Jam with Eddie Vedder. But they're different. Man, I bought the CD for Pearl Jam Black the other day. So I got a bunch of CDs because my car came with a CD player. And I was like, why not? Um, get a little nostalgic with the compact discs over here. And and plus, Barnes & Nobles, which I visit frequently, has a music section, but they have CDs, and they're so inexpensive. So um, I've got two Linkin Park CDs, two Slipknot CDs. I got a Corn, I mean, not Corn, a Pearl Jam and a Creed and um, Nas. Okay. <laughs> I got Illmatic from Nas. I love it. I still have all my CDs from high school. <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch of them in my storage, in my library storage in um, in California. So, uh, for those of you just tuning in, you guys don't know the amazingness that, that happened earlier with Eternity came on and said, uh, and I asked her, what numbers do you see around? And she read the time off the clock, which was 818, and she said 818. And, of course, that was, uh, you know, 31, wait, what time? 21 minutes ago. And... Um, and uh, 818, the, 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 the title of the 818 in the Angel Numbers book by Mystic Mihaela, 
is infinity. I mean, what are the chances that the, she calls in the first time that I'm doing this? Um, you know, allow me to divine your signs of angels and signs of, of angels, right? And she calls in, and her name is Eternity, and it's infinity. The first number she shoots out, because that's the time it was. So it's not like, you know, people, some people might be like, they planned this, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it was actually 818 when you when you called in. So it's like, I mean, that that is a wonderful synchronicity that Eternity calls in and says 818 because that's the time. And it happens to be infinity, which is, of course, as, as you might know, people, but maybe you don't, that infinity is a, a synonym for eternity, just like forever. Can you look up 838, my huh? brother? What's up? Can you look up 838? 838, yes. Let's take a look at 838. You were singing. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, that's, that's all good. 838. Take rest. Mm. Celebrate your achievements. Celebrating mm-hmm. yourself is the message from your angels today. They want you to sit in gratitude and awe of yourself and of the role the divine has played in your life. Think of something fun to do. Make a date with a friend. Spend an afternoon in nature or simply treat yourself to a special moment. So, as I, I like that she gives like different suggestions because you might not always be, to be able to go... Uh, make a date with a friend or spend an afternoon in nature being is how it's evening now right but you could you, but you could go spend an evening in nature or you could simply treat right. yourself to a special moment it could be uh, having a sip of um, some delicious kombucha which I'm about to have um, <laughs> or or something else like that you know I did have a date with a friend today a new friend I dropped her off after we dealt with the flat <laughs> and I am driving slowly home now I'm very. I'm gonna take a shower and get some rest. That's why <laughs> one of my very next missions is to get. I got to order the same wheel that I have on my car because my car came with aftermarket wheels, and so mm-hmm. I'm gonna order one of the same and then put a tire on there. Um, that so that when I do change my car to my spare, it's not like uh, one of those Donut. donuts. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I have right now. I'm driving super. People are passing me on the highway. I'm like, go around me. Well, even <laughs> like, I can't. even the one that I have in my as my spare now because I did bust one tire um, after a long day of driving from Uber one night, and uh, mm-hmm. I did have to call roadside assistance because my the lug wrench that I have uh, couldn't fit mm-hmm. because they're aftermarket wheels, mm-hmm. so the the space was too small. So I needed a different head. So that's why also I'm all, not only am I getting a new wheel with the tire put on it but I'm also going to get a four way and I found I, I was in Walmart and I saw that they had this folding one so I'm going to get that I like I like compact things that transform yeah that's really cool I like that too so excuse me um, but yes thanks for keeping thanks for keeping me going guys of course uh, adventure home so are you uh, <laughs> how much how much longer till you get home seven minutes now alright can you hear me yeah, I, I almost there. Almost there. Seven, four, seven minutes. Well, um, so I know that uh, um, we just read eight, uh, eight, three, eight. Take rest because that was also the time. But um, uh, I got. I'm gonna, I need to repeat that because it's it's important for anyone else who is listening. It is. Absolutely. This is a good message. Take rest. Celebrate your achievements, everyone. Celebrating yourself is the message from your angels today, especially you hard workers out there. They want you to sit in gratitude and awe of yourself and of the role the divine has played in your life. Think of something fun to do. Make a date with a friend. Spend an afternoon in nature or simply treat yourself to a special moment. And as I finish reading that, it is 844. And 844 is... And I like all the repeating numbers. 844 is safe. So, Trinity, get home safe. Feel secure in the divine. Feel secure in the divine. Your angels want you to feel secure and safe in their watchful presence. You've been given an abundance of blessings recently. See these blessings and count them. As you do, lift a prayer to the angels for gifting them to you. No blessing is too small to count. No blessing is too small to count, guys. So that's uh, these are some of the, the important things we have to to do. 
Look at the numbers everywhere around you, people, all the time, especially when they're repeating. When you see those repeating numbers, especially the number 11 will pop up to you a lot. And if you see the number 11, that's when you should, if you can, safely, look around and see what numbers come up there. And if you have a notepad, you should write it down. I've been uh, being much better about journaling, especially um, since I got that Moon Magic and Mindfulness book. Um, I like activity books, especially, it's like an activity journal. It's really great. Um... Take a moment of sirens. Sirens. A moment of sirens. <laughs> moment of sirens. All right, so um, it's a fire truck actually. Uh, and so, what's really uh, amazing is uh, this morning is when I did those rides and. One was $25, and then I had one in between, and then another one for 20 something dollars. And I, I only take those pre-scheduled rides, because Uber has, uh, like, actually, they're popping up. I got three of them popping up right now. It says, a rider has requested a scheduled a scheduled ride with you. Let me take a look at this real quick. I want to see if any of them are fav- favorable. Let me tell you guys. Let's see. A scheduled ride with you. So let's take a look. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. So this one is from, what, Apiary Court in Virginia Beach. To the main terminal in Norfolk International Airport. Airport, so it's 14 miles for 22 dollars. I would, I would do that. I would do that. Um, and that's at what time are they asking for me to do this? At 4 a.m. Yeah, I do that because I'm still awake because of uh, of work. Let's see what other opportunities they're sending me here. Okay, so UberX Apiary. Uh, oh, that's only one new. Okay, I don't know. I might do that. 4 a.m. Apiary. 23 20 22 bucks for a 14 mile ride when i'm already in virginia beach so you know that might be a good one actually i'm, I'm gonna accept it now and if I, I i have up to i have up to one hour before the ride to cancel it if i want to so but yesterday i did back-to-back ones oh tuesday oh that's why i didn't see it because they're for tuesday let's see oh that one's for tuesday in yorktown i'm not going to yorktown Unless I'm already there, I'm not leaving Virginia Beach to go to Yorktown to pick him up and then. Uh, uh, apparently, Janet Jackson is playing with Ludacris here on Sunday, on May 14th. That would be a great show. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Well, we'll see. Depends if I if I end up in that area. So four o'clock, I got 25. But I did two of them this morning. Oh well, three of them this morning, back to back, and I stopped because I was like, that's half half the income that I want to make for the day. It was like 50 bucks. So I was like, yeah, from Uber. I have a minimum. Uh, minimum goal of $100 a day. And that gives me a good amount of money. If I was only driving Uber, that would be a decent amount of money every week if I was only doing that. Um, and a lot of time to rest and sit down at the bookstore and do lots of other things that I want to do. So, um, But since I do drive more, and it only took me in total, because they were back-to-back uh, pre-scheduled rides, about an hour. So you know, making $50 in an hour is not bad. And I just went to sleep after that. Um, but, uh, oh, so the, uh, hold on. Hold on. What am I doing here? I, I lost track of, of thought. Um, but, but I do, uh, want to point out how much everyone should continue to look around them for the repeating numbers. It starts to go on a real interesting flow. Um, I don't know if you, you know about the 111 story and the 222 story that happened to me and how they continue to build on each other. Do you know about that? I'm not quite, All right. I'm not quite, I recall. All right. Well, this is a good one. They're both great. They're amazing. So, at some point, I forget when it was exactly, but it must have been um, the end of March or the beginning of April, because I remember I was hanging out with my friend Sarah. She was sitting in the passenger seat of my car, and I haven't seen her since April 2nd, so I know it was it was somewhere around there. And we were sitting in the parking lot of Central 111, where I work, uh, doing security at the door, and Brian, one of the bartenders, walks out, and when he walks out the door, all of a sudden, all the lights in the entire structure called renaissance place the entire shopping center go out for a second they just blink for one moment and then sarah yells out she's like zeus and then brian's looking all around like what the heck is happening here and then 
I was like, check that out. And I look at the clock in my car and it's 111. So you have a synchronicity of him walking out of 111. It's like, it, it's like you couldn't be any more angelic saying, pay attention right now. Right? It's like, Brian walks out. I look, we both look over him walking out. All the lights blink off. He's, um, he's, he's kind of freaked out and shocked, like, what the hell, like, or confused, more I should say, about what happens. Sarah yells out Zeus, and then I look up and it's 111 in the morning, you know, and it's like, that kind of thing right there is quite fascinating. And then I was telling that story to somebody else, and as I was telling it, um, it was 111, right, right, right in the middle of when I started telling it on call-in. Unfortunately, that video, uh, was messed up. It was the day that I went to go um, get my DOD clearance thing to drive onto the basin and stuff like that. And so, um, and then, uh, not too long after that, um, I was at Central 111 at the door, and a, f a friend walks up, and we're talking, and she says, uh, she says, where did you take your girl out on her first date? And I told her, and then she's like, oh, um, you like reading books? She's like, what's the last book you read? Because she was looking at me like she didn't believe me, right? Like, you read, right? And, um, and so, and I was, like, Angel, I was like, Angel Numbers by Mystic Mahela. And she was like, what? And she, she rolls up her sleeve, and she has the Angel Number 222 on her, her... Oh, I do remember that part of the story. I yeah. do remember. I remember coming Tattooed back on now. her arm. But, yeah, the, but the backup to that is that because the very day right before that, I had left my wallet on top of a gas pump in Portsmouth at an Exxon or a mobile, one of the two, because Uber uh, Pro Card, they say if you use it there, you get an extra 3% cash back. And I drive off, and five hours later, I realize I don't have my wallet and my card because I left it on the pump when I was trying to get something from set, some coffee from 7-Eleven when two riders that I was dropping off, uh, one of their, their first stop was at 7-Eleven. And then, I, and then I still had to drop them off at their second location. So I'm, I'm silently panicking, but I'm doing my best to keep everything in check because I, I had some sentimental things in there. Um, and anyway, I make it back to the gas station. The wallet is still there exactly where it was um, and exactly uh, with the, everything completely untouched. And I was talking to another Sarah, the Sarah that's here on Wisdom, who goes by Sarita Issa. And when I close the door and sit down in the car after gathering my things, I look up and it's 222. And I say that, I'm like, oh, it's 222, that's an angel number, right? So so imagine that that happens, 222, right? It's like, it's 222, I talk about it on the podcast, right? It gets recorded, I'm talking to Sarah about it, and then I read it from the book. And the very next day, this person that I'm talking to, Shayla, says... Uh, ask me about the date and what, and, and then when I tell her, I, you know, I'm nerdy and I like books and this stuff. Like, What's the last book you read? And I say, Angel Numbers. She rolls up her sleeve and she has 222 tattooed on her arm. I mean, come on, people, seriously, like you've got to wake up right now and stop act and stop pretending like that's not significant. Like the pe people who 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 will listen. Some people are to gonna stay asleep, huh? Yeah, I mean, those kind of things are are now what we should really be looking at as far as like the science of of what's happening in our lives. It's pretty amazing. And so, but, but what's even more profound about that is that, is the meaning of 222. And the, the meaning of 222, I'll read it here, but it's, it was so relevant to that experience. And so was uh, the experience of 111. So I'll read the 222 one as well. It's so relevant to my experience that I have the 111 bookmarked in the book because it comes up so often, not just because I work there at Central 111, but, but, but it pops up so many other times because my angels are constantly contacting me now and they're saying, look, you are powerfully creating now and so you need to pay attention more. So first of all, uh, 222, right? So imagine this. 222, after me finding my wallet and everything completely intact, says, trust fall. Your angels ask you to trust your place in life right now. And that's metaphorically and actually, like physically. So, to trust your place in life right now. You are in the right place at the right time. Take a look around and enjoy the moment. And of course I was enjoying the moment because I just got all my stuff back with, without any issues. And then the final sentence is, everything is where it's supposed to be. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Like, like all those are both physically, location locked, and metaphorically. You are in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I'm at the gas station at the right time. 
222, because uh, you guys are communicating with me. Take a look around and enjoy the moment. Of course I am. I just got my wallet back. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Yeah, the wallet was where it's exactly supposed to be for me to be able to get it back and do what I need to do. So that is why, and those synchronicities are what make these things uh, stick out. And then when the whole 111 thing, why that's so significant to me is because it pops up so often because of how much I'm manifesting and creating. And 111 says, screenshot, pause and reset your thinking, 855. Uh, when you see 111, think of the universe as taking a screenshot of your frame of mind right now. Everything that is going on, all your thoughts, feelings, goals, and dreams is going to be replicated. Get on a high vibe quickly to so you can manifest your best life moving forward. Repeat the mantra, I am in alignment with my authentic self. So, those things like that are significant. Even the fact I'm reading that right there, and then 5855 comes up, which is saying to watch the, the 55, and plus that the fact that we've caught three of the repeating numbers, 33, 44, and now 55, um... And, and just casually talking and, and looking up, um, and I think that my brain might be now physically attuned to maybe these things to look up, but they all have significance. And again, I'm fully aware that I am using these things in a hot number sense. That's why they have significance to me, because I'm only looking for inspiration. I'm looking for the positive. And so you can read any of these numbers at any time and be inspired by them. Could, you could say that it's re any of these are relevant to you at any time. I mean, so that, and that's... Um, the beautiful thing about the Angels Number Book. And I found so many different strategies to just kind of go on a run of inspiration and also to um, get more familiar with the different numbers in the book. So, um, anyway, that's what that is. Did you make it home? It must have been seven minutes by now, right? Yes. I heard all that. Yes, that, I'm that, home. That I'm going to hop down. Good. I appreciate you. I'm going to shower and get ready for bed. All right. I love to love you. Eternity, I appreciate you. I'm so glad that you came up and joined me for my first episode of Allow Me to Divine Your Signs. That's right. Allow me to divine. And thank, so thank, thank you for allowing me to divine your signs. And your first <laughs> sign was 818, which is infinity for eternity. Thank you. Have a good night, y'all. All right. Rest well, eternity. Right? I couldn't have asked for a better uh, introduction to a chat of uh, signs and angles and signs of angels. That's right. It was awesome. You had Eternity come up and give me the number of infinity. And, um, and that's that. That is some cool stuff there. We're coming up on the hour mark here, which means that I am going to shut it down. Um, unless anybody has any numbers that they have around that they want to get into. But I will save these other numbers that I had written down. Um, and now including, I'm going to write the 55 down on here. Um, for another time. Uh, and may, that, that other time may be in a few minutes. Um, just because I like to read inspirational messages because I think that they're helpful for all people to hear them. Hello, Elizabeth McClung, Dow with the Dash is Dr. Robert James Goodman. Foxy, Karaoke Vox, Daily Shift, all those new folks who bounced through the room on the way to your own or another's, or who may still be listening in to the show. I took a screenshot earlier of the talk I did about occult metrics because um, even though I've had, so I've had several of my talks that um, the, the number of minutes listened sometimes far exceed the number of minutes on a show, which means that, that that's for every person collectively who's listening, right? So I would have shows that are, let's just say I have a show for 12 minutes, and it would show that 60 minutes was listening to, meaning that on average, five people listen to 12 minutes, or you could say uh, 10 people listen to six minutes of it, right? So a significant portion of the the talks had been listening listened to for a good amount of time, more than, you know, five minutes. And I looked at that, and I thought, that's pretty good. And, it, and it's, you know, and not a lot of people in the room. But today was pretty awesome in particular because the talk I gave was it was 90 minutes long. It started from 5.30 and ended right at like 7. Or was it? No. So it must have started at 4.30 and ended at 6, I think. Something like that. 
I don't exactly recall it at this time. But it was something that I ended it right at 6 or 7 or something. Yeah, it must have been 6. So the nice must have started at 4.30 because it was, it was 90 minutes. It was, a, it was an hour and 30 minutes. And when I when I ended the show, it shows you your statistics. And, and the amount of listen, the amount of minutes listened was exactly uh, an hour and 30 minutes. It was 90, 90 minutes. I thought, oh, that's great. I did a show for 90 minutes and got 90 minutes of listens with 20 people in the room. So, I mean, that's 20... I don't know how many, you know, what goes to who, but, you know, that I like. Um, of course, if, if you want to do the math on that, you simply just go 2 into 9, and you get uh, 45. So that means that, on average, um, the 20 people listen to 4.5 minutes, if that's what they did, right? That, that could be broken down that way. So, um, just moving decimals around. But that, that I thought that was pretty cool that people would take the time to listen to at least four or five minutes of that talk, which was, uh, I, I, I don't remember now. Oh yeah, I did. Um, I first started with, with the runes and the, the black tarot and then, uh, demon tarot and then, um, some, some angel numbers. And from a reading, a client posed a, an issue with my guidance to, to present the issue of saying the issue is um, is attracting a compatible partner to uh, live a life of happiness, health, and wealth with. So that was, and then went to see what similarities came out with those readings. So it's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, depending on how you like to say it here. At uh, on May seventh, two thousand and twenty-three, you're listening to the Hitman H I T M A N Hakeem in the morning, afternoon, and night. This has been Daring Seeker. Allow me to divine your signs of angels and signs of angels. Chat now. And we spoke to Eternity, who gave me the first number that she saw at eight eighteen p.m., which eight one eight is infinity, and read that and went through a few more different things here and there about angel numbers and numerology it was fun y'all stay well you're listening on spreaker social podcasting and wisdom social audio inc we're going to take a moment of sirens what is that something must be going down until next time stay well <laughs>